New Respect Series color from Mega Bass, Rising Sun. Imer brings us a new small prop bait. And last week we brought to you guys new colors in the Ballum 245, and now they show up in the 300 size. This is what's new this week at the Hook of Tackle. Welcome to the Hook of Tackle. The Hook of Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. What's going on guys? Jeff here at The Hook of Tackle, aka Jeffrey the King on Instagram, being filmed by my buddy Jeffrey the King as well on Instagram. We are the Hook of Tackle USA. As you guys have noticed, uh, it's a new person this week. Ben is still on vacation in Florida. I just got back from iCast. You guys, if you guys haven't seen that iCast video, I'll leave a link to it up here. It was a really fun time, and we even got to fish a couple of days there, so those fishing videos might be up next week, but Ben's still out there with the family. Griff, I think he's out fishing somewhere in the universe with a gong right now probably catching fish so it's just me left to do the what's new so if you guys are ready let's get right into today's video if you guys watched halfway through that video we actually did a little bit of a segment on mega bass and you guys kind of got to see a sneak preview of the new respect series color and that is rising sun it is this translucent clear color i know ben is an absolute sucker when it comes down to clear baits it's got a really cool eye and it's got a little hint of shirt shoes on the top. Now, with this color, when I first heard Rising Sun was coming in, I was like, oh, it's gonna be like this orange kind of maybe frozen tequila color, but we got a clear. But apparently what that really does is when the sun is rising up and the light hits the bait, it's supposed to reflect and refract to make this bait look way more natural and give off a really good profile. So that's kind of the idea behind the color, even though there's not much color to it. But if you guys are looking for a translucent or a clear bait, this is definitely one to pick up. They come in quite a few different baits, so we're just gonna run through them right now. So of course, it's gonna come in the Vision 110. It's gonna come in the 110 Junior as well. And of course, the Pop Max. It's gonna come in the Pop X, the X80 Junior, the SRX Cyclone. I believe this bait only comes in limited edition colors, so if you guys are looking for a Cyclone, it's a great bait to pick up. It has a very high pitch. It's very reminiscent of a Griffin, if you're used to that, just a bit larger of a side, a little bit higher pitch, so if you're looking for a bait that does call a little more, more you got the SRX Cyclone. Of course, you have the DeepX 100 LVL, have the ORC, the SRX Griffin, the X80 Trick Darter, the Giant Dog X, Go IU Slide Sinker. So those are the baits that come in the new Respect Series color. They're gonna be dropping now. So if you guys wanted to get the whole set or if you wanted to get some of your favorite baits from the set, go down and get them while you can. Speaking of Respect Series colors, we also have restocked the Crystal Lime Frogs. If you guys missed out when we first dropped these, I believe a month ago? We have the 110 as well as the 110 Junior back in stock. So if you guys missed out, we got them back for a limited time. So get them now. And Ben has been hounding you guys lately on jerk baits and how they've become extremely hard to get. And when we do get them in, 
all of the good colors inevitably just sell out super quick. But we did just get a restock of some of the key colors. So we have MB Gizzard, Matt Shad, Killa Kawaguchi, GP Skeleton Tennessee, just to name a few, but we have a good amount of some of the key colors back in stock in the 110. So if you guys have been waiting for those, check them out. Sticking with jerk baits, now Ben's favorite jerk bait to fish, the Edo Shiner returns to some of the key colors. We have Galaxy Shiner as well as Wagin Hasu and as well as a few other colors. So if you guys have been waiting for that larger size jerk bait to come back in, it's a great jerk bait to fish even during the summertime. That's when Ben and some of the guys here at the shop love to throw the Edo Shiner. And then last week we brought to you guys the ice slide swim baits, the 135, the 185, and the 262, and a bunch of new colors. This week we got some new colors in the 135 as well as the 185. So SS Pinkback All You, as well as PM Oyani Rami. It's kind of like a bass peacock kind of style color. I actually kind of dig this color a lot. It looks really dope, especially this time of year when those fry have kind of gotten a little bit bigger. They've grown up to be like five or six inches. This color scheme can be great during the summer and fall when the, sh when the fry from the bass have grown up to be around this size. And then we also got a big restock and one of my favorite buzz baits, and that is the Jamaica Boa. Now the Jamaica Boa we brought in last year when it came in new. We, all the guys here at the shop, we fished it around. We actually made a video if you guys wanted to check it out. I'll leave a link up there in the description. I caught some fish on it. Ben caught some fish on it. Julius caught some fish on it. This specific buzz bait, if you guys didn't know, is so versatile. What you can do with this buzz bait is absolutely insane. If you guys want to learn more about the Jamaica Boa, watch that video. You guys will see the tricks and tips that we will give in that video, especially Ben. And it's just an absolutely incredible buzz bait. So we got a restock of some of the key colors back in. So we have, you know, green pumpkin, we have Hasu and black mamba. Incredible, incredible buzz bait. It's buzz bait season. You guys go fish it at night or in the morning. Either way, this bait will get you guys some bites. And one of the shop's favorite big size crankbaits has been definitely the Big M series and Mega Bass. These just so happen to be the Big M 7.5. Now, what's so rad about these crankbaits, and we've talked about it a million times, is that even though it's this large of a crankbait, when you are fishing it, it doesn't just wear off your arm like it, a 10XD would do to you. Just because the overall shape and design of the bait, it allows this bait not to have this very big wide side to side action. It's more of a flashing presentation. So like the 10XD, it's doing this the entire time and you're feeling it in your arm, even if you have a, a solid cranking setup. This just makes getting down to those deeper depths, 20 plus feet, a lot easier, especially if you wanna crank all day. So the Big M 7.5 has been everybody's pretty much new favorite deep diving crankbait just because your arm doesn't get ripped off. And they come in some incredible colors. This just so happens to be GG Largemouth, kinda of goes back to that largemouth and the fry getting bigger. This is a great color to fish. And again, you know, you got your standard green, your crawdad colors, this so happens to be green craw and we got shad colors as well. So you can really match your forage to what those fish might be feeding down there in that 20 plus feet of water. We also see a restock of the Big M 4.0. It gets down more to that 12 to 15 foot range. So this is a great crankbait that when they're feeding on, you know, bluegill or big gizzard shad that aren't as deep as what you would need a 7.5 for, the 4.0 will get down to those depths. And again, it's that same rolling action. So you can fish it all day and you're gonna get some really, really big bites with this bait. So it's a great summertime bait, especially when those fish start feeding on the bluegill. So if you're looking for a bigger bite with a bigger crankbait, check out the Big M series. Okay, staying with Mega Bass, we have some of these soft goods. We have a restock of the inner case boxes. We have the black and we also have the woodland camo as well. 
These are incredible boxes if you guys like having those lunch boxes that Mega Bass also makes. So we have a new color as well in the inner case. This is the green camo. And again, you can fit up to about two of those Mega Bass lunch boxes in here. And then you can also fit stuff kind of on the sides as well. They're great boxes. I know Ben loves to use these and I know that Griff also loves to use these as well. So if you're not trying to bring a whole lot of stuff on in a trip or at a, on the boat, these are great to have and we got an awesome new color. So that's new from Mega Bass. Restock in Duo Realis, we have the 3010 boxes. Speaking of lunchbox size boxes, I know that I would use these for like my spy baits especially. They can fit up to probably about the 90 size and you can fit quite a few of them in here. So if you guys have been waiting for those 3010s to come back, we got them in the black. As well as a new color with the Gold Duo International font. And it's just the same exact box, just with a gold finish for the Duo International. So we got those back in stock from Duo Realis. Okay, coming in new from IMA for us, we have the Deep Fry 95. Now this is a kind of hybrid crankbait slash jerkbait. You can do both things and it's gonna have great action to it. The bait gets down to about 12 to 15 feet of water and it's a suspending style bait, so it suspends nose down. So it has a very natural, lifelike appearance when you stop it, when you crank it and stop it, or if you jerk it just like a jerk bait. The way that the body is designed, it allows it to be able to do both things relatively well. It's not gonna have a whole lot of flash, but it's not gonna have a whole lot of side to side action like a regular crankbait would be. It's kind of a mix between both of those. And then as a jerk bait, it's gonna have that same rip rip action. So it's awesome to have bait that you can, you know, crank down, reel, 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 pause it, sits there, suspends. You can jerk it, jerk it, and it's gonna have a wide side to side action. And then go back to cranking, and it's got a great crankbait action. So it's awesome to have these baits here in the US because we don't have enough of these style of baits around. So this is actually a new color from IMA. Ghost Sunfish as well as Silver Lining, those are new colors coming in from IMA. That is the Deep Fry 95 from IMA. Okay, coming in new from IMA this week, we see a new prop bait, the Hellips and the Hellips Grande. The Hellips Grande is 67 millimeters while the regular Hellips is 57 millimeters. They weigh 3 8 and 5 8 ounces, so they're semi-heavy at that size. You can easily fish it on a bait caster, but they keep a nice, sleek, small profile that can imitate a bluegill or, you know, gizzard chat or a thread fin kind of popping the gnats up on the water, especially this time of year during the summer. So here's just a better look at the Hellips. And then this is the Hellips Grande. So it's just a little bit bigger overall. They come obviously with the two props. The hardware that actually comes with these baits are pretty impressive. They're actually the owner ST36s, so you don't need to swap out the hooks or anything like that. So if you guys have been looking for a smaller prop bait with a more bluegill or shad profile, we got you covered now with the IMA Hellips. New colors coming in from IMA in the Beast Hunter. The Beast Hunter is a mid range diving crankbait. It's great for coming through grass. It's got a, a solid knock in there. It's got a little bit of a wobble, but it's not too wide, kind of like a Shrike King, but it's not too tight like a flat sided crankbait. It's just got a very perfect kind of subtle action to it. So it's perfect for if you guys are fishing around fish that are kind of pressured, showing them something a little bit different in the action. We got three new colors in the bait. We got Watermelon Craw, we got Hot Shad, and Shirt Shoes Smash. So another great addition for those guys that are into IMA. We have the new colors in the Beast Hunter. So check them out now. All right guys, it is summertime and we're all trying to escape the heat. A lot of us guys here in Arizona, we actually go up north to go fish for trout. I know Hippie actually just went on a trip recently up north to go chase some trout and so if you guys are looking to go do something like that we do have the Timons this is that Jackal Trout Company and we have a restock here in the trickle rolls we have the 47 and the 55 sizes back in stock and all the key colors these are sinking 
jerk bait slash crankbait kind of style of baits. So if you are looking to fish, you know, shallow streams or deeper pools, these are going to be a great bait. You can rip them, you can pause them, you can jerk it, you can just crank it back in. So Timon is very, very popular in Japan and it's great to have these back in stock for those trout guys that are looking for those JDM trout baits. Okay, sticking with Timon, Timon actually just came out with a new trick roll. It's the trick roll Mai. The trick roll Mai comes in a 45 and a 55 size. Again, it is sinking. Now the difference between the original trick roll and the trick roll Mai is the trick roll Mai is gonna be a little bit taller, so it's gonna be more of a crankbait style. So as the trick roll was, you can crank it and jerk bait. This one's really more made specifically to be cranked and what's so cool is that since it's a sinking model what happens is you can cast out the bait you can crank it and if you get over like a pool if you're going over let's say like a shallow reef or flat and then you get into like a pool where the trout might be sitting what you can do is you can kill the bait and it's just going to shimmy down and then you can keep working it back so that's a really cool feature another cool feature on this bait is the front hook is actually on a swivel now we've been seeing this technology being put into a lot of baits as of recently and i think it's genius in a trout bait because if you guys have not trout fished before when you hook a trout immediately that fish is going absolutely crazy they do a lot of spins they do a lot of turns they go absolutely nuts so if you guys are looking to land more fish this will help you tremendously because you can just keep turning and that fish will stay pinned way better than just your traditional style hook hanger so that's going to be new from timon the trick roll my coming in new from strike king in the rage series is we have the rage tail baby bug now you guys might be already used to the normal size rage tail a lot of guys love using this as a jig trailer or a flipping and pitching bait this is the regular full size and now we have the baby size so it's going to be a lot smaller so if you guys are looking to fish more you know small mouth or you know fishing around fish that are feeding on smaller crawdads this is going to be a great bait to go back down to so you have the full size and then you have the baby bug now and of course they come in eight colors all the key colors as well so if you guys are looking for a perfect jig trailer or you guys want to have a bit smaller of a flipping bait to get through cover a little bit better the new baby bugs from rage tail strike king are in stock now also new this is probably going to be griff's new favorite bait it's going to be the new rage ned bug it's intended what its name is after on a ned rig and basically it's very similar to that baby bug. It's just even in a smaller form so you can fit it on a Ned rig. It's going to have these appendages on the sides as well as these claws. So if you guys are looking for a new Ned rig bait, like I know Griff is looking for, we got some new ones coming in from Strike King and the Rage Tail series. They come in, you know, 10 different colors, all the key colors that you're looking for. They even have this beautiful you know morning dawn kind of color so if you guys are looking for a new ned rig bait we got some now from strike king okay now we've been absolutely selling out on these hooks and we just got a great restock back in that is the zapu bellows hook now a lot of guys have been using this hook i've actually even used this hook recently on fishing the bull flat from depths absolutely love this hook super sharp super strong and now we have a restock back in our best selling hook right now in shop two out three out four out all the way up to six out now back in stock so if you guys have been waiting for these bellow hooks we have them now so go check them out okay and we got a restock now from depths in the pulse cod as well as the pulse cod junior this is the newest style popper bait from depths that a lot of guys have been starting to kind of get their hands on and play with and notice that this bait just gets downright bit. I know this is probably Ben's new favorite popper and there's good reason for it. The technology that's gone into this bait is quite different from basically any other popper out there on the market. It has a really good cup lip but what's cool is 
Now, I, we have talked about this bait quite a bit in the past, but to kind of reiterate, if you guys can see inside of the bait, there's like a little spring with a little lead ball in there. And every time you, every time you pop it, twitch it, or do anything like that, it hits the side and then it emits a vibration. Now, Depths has put this actually recently in like their new slide swimmer. And what it's supposed to do is when you pop it and you move it and it sits there, it's supposed to emit just a very small vibration. So if a fish comes up and it's looking at it right after you pop it or move it, it's gonna feel this vibration in its lateral line and that might trigger a lot more bites. So it's just a cool innovative thing that Depths has done and it's cool to see it starting to try to kind of trickle down from the slide swimmers into some of their regular everyday conventional baits. So we got a restock in the Pulse Cod, the regular full size, as well as the Pulse Cod Junior. So snatch them up now. Sticking with depths and kind of just a reminder that we still have some of these new slide swimmers that just came out in the 175 size. Now what makes the new slide swimmer 175s new is they've actually added the stability fins down here on the bottom of the bait that were originally on the Depths 250 and for some reason the 175 just never had them. So what these stability fins are supposed to do is it's just supposed to keep it a little more straight, a little more fluid overall like in the slide swimmer 250s. And so far from the guys that have picked up these new ones, they say it's actually made a huge difference and they believe that this bait actually swims a thousand times better than the original 175. So we have a few colors still here in stock. So if you guys want to pick them up and try them out, we got them now. Okay, so last week we brought to you guys those Ballum 245s and those new colors. This week we see them now arrive in the 300 size. This is the full size, the 12 inch size. It's six ounces. It's a really large bait, but I know a lot of guys have actually had quite a bit of success even on this bait. I know by now you guys have probably seen all of the videos in Japan on Ikihara of Mr. Satan Sun fishing super tight to those walls and catching a bunch of fish on the 300. I don't know if you can get that to happen here, but I know some guys do on some of the walls on some of the lakes out here. So for sure, if you guys aren't afraid of the size of the bait, I highly recommend you guys upsize to the 300. It's a super rad bait. And now we see them in those brand new colors. So check them out from Madness, the Ballum 300. Okay, just out of complete coincidence, I decided to wear my Osprey Spiritual Performer shirt. And lo and behold, we actually have a restock in the gray, black, and white color. It's a long sleeve. It's a really comfortable material as well. We have a bunch of the OSP hits on it, like Osprey Spiritual Performer on the left-hand side. And on the right sleeve, we have kind of a stitched logo on it. Then on the shirt, you just have an Osprey. It says, challenge to the... Challenge to the great nature, awesome shirt. I actually like, I actually really like wearing the shirt. It's super comfortable. So we have a restock in those. So if you guys wanted to support OSP a little bit more, we got the shirt for it. Okay, going into rods now, we have a restock in the G Loomis IMX Pro Series. We have all the key models back in, including their bladed jig rod. A lot of you guys have been absolutely digging this rod for the bladed jig, and it's. Again, I know Ben's talked about it a thousand times, but it's just perfect. It bends throughout the entire rod. It's a very soft rod is what you need for that chatterbait. So we have these models back in stock in the IMX Pro. And then kind of going back to the iCast video, when me and Ben were there, we ended off the video talking about some of the G Loomis rods, the NRX Plus, as well as the new GCX series. And look what shows up in shop. We have the models. We have some of the models now in stock in both the bait casting as well as the spinning rod models. Now the GCX replaced the EC, the E6X models of rods. And so this is just their new kind of budget friendly, still high quality G Loomis blank rods that are now out on the market. They took some of that E6X kind of components as well as some of the IMX components 
and they brought them into this rod now so you're still gonna get crazy sensitivity out of these rods they have them in those key models that everybody's been looking for so if you guys are looking to kind of get into G Loomis these would be a great start for you all right guys that's gonna be it for what's new this week at the hookup tackle hopefully next week Ben actually returns and does his job so I don't have to be in front of the camera and look at these lights and blind myself too many times Griff should also be back you guys will see him hopefully this week when we go out and film some content for you guys other than that thanks guys for watching huge shout out to all you guys that watch the videos as well as subscribing to the channel it really helps us out huge thanks from everybody here at the hook of tackle oh shit that's what i am is there an orion in that fridge unfortunately we did not have any orion i mean i wouldn't drink it anyways but <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and peace out